Okay, on page 20 of the packet, paragraph 13-5, we'll strike um, six paragraph, six line, the word serving as on the personnel committee. So it would be the public works director and uh, city clerk treasurer that be clear to report to the council so everyone is aware that they're on vacation or for leave. On page 22 of the packet, third page of the uh, amendment, paragraph 17.2.1, scratch January and add June, effective June 1st, 2015. Everything else to remain the same. What is the purpose of the delay? What they've been doing the work? Doing the work, assuming the duties of the city clerk that is mandated by statute. So now you're delaying the process to save money, or is it uh, you're not acknowledging that they were doing the work in the first place? We had sure that the city was still in compliance with the state. We had the discussion, and uh, as far as the discussion, uh, it was agreed with the council that the June 1st date would be acceptable, but the January 1st date would not. So can I go back and turn it on my overtime from November to uh, now? As far as overtime on Because you can get the bus schedule on You, were, you did agree to pay all times for that additional work. That was one of the resolutions earlier. Um, so I guess that would be appropriate for them to do that since you had authorized that in, the past, in an earlier council meeting. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Okay, how can you make the uh, change to the did not set the parameters when you made the motion to pay for overtime for both Sean and Wendy. Right. When was when was this made? That was made. Was the motion made or was it discussed? Because when? it was discussed in a it was made the motion was made on November 18th at a workshop. Yes. Yeah, but that's a workshop that's not Yes, it was. It's, it's a legal council meeting workshop. It was posted as a legal meeting. The entire council meeting, they're all the same. Yeah. And that's when the motion was made. So then how do you determine? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just a question. How do you determine what your overtime was? Well, that's kind of why we weren't really keeping track of it, because we thought, well, if, you know, if you agree to pay us from January until December for doing the work, we won't keep track of any overtime. And we won't put we won't put in any overtime is what I should say. You know, so we didn't get paid, we didn't take pay for anything. I go back to my notes and tell you what my overtime was. But we didn't take pay for it because we thought, well, you know, we're going into these discussions and there's a good faith effort on their part yeah. not to consider that A, not realize how long this process was going to be, and B, because they thought they'd work with the council and get fair equity because of that. Not be set, not be questioned later and be discounted for the work that they performed on behalf of the city to cover the city liability with the state as well. Well, and I would disagree with the context of that statement because for the record, um, you know, Barb is still a current employee of the city and therefore the city is in compliance and there is a city administrator. It's okay. She's an inactive employee and it's been settled. So no. So how much can I say here? I think we're acknowledging the work that has been there. But as Rick said, I mean we're we're trying to save money for the city in the long run. Because we need to proceed with the hiring process, and that's gonna cost the city money. 
I need to. So I'm being punished because of that? No, you're being reimbursed. I'm not being reimbursed. It's going from June until the end of the year. So I'm getting right. paid for doing the job now, forward, but I've done it since November 18th. Along with Sean. And I, and I understand, I understand that, but my responsibility is to stay intact with our budget. It has been discussed numerous times that our budget, we have to amend some different things within the budget. And I know, we, you know, we are acknowledging the work that has been done by you and Sean. And we've also need to acknowledge the work that's being done by Anna as well. And it got an increase. increase. That'd be your normal stuff. And we also have to realize that you're under union negotiations at the end of the year. So I'm sure you will come back to us again for another raise. And as I stated it, <laughs> I'm going to put it out there. I mean, I got it. In closed session, for the betterment of the city, it's, it's I wouldn't ask for rates because I want the city, as, a, as an employee of the city, I want the city to move forward. And I realize that personally, I might have to take on a responsibility if I was in your position. I wouldn't ask for, I would be acceptable of whatever was offered. Just because I want our city to move forward and I would do whatever it took. I wouldn't ask for a rate. I wouldn't ask for an increase in my pay because I know I'm coming up to Negotiations in six months. Well, you so, are. With all I mean, respect, I understand, but. With all the respect, you are saving money. No. Not just just based, on, based on the current three employees, you are saving money since you are paying uh, the previous administrator at a discount, at a reduced rate than what was budgeted, and to, and to say the total cost of this raise or this uh, market adjustment. Uh, is $6,800 for the year, and you're trying to make it $3,400 when you're saving practically 40, over $40,000 on uh, operating with two employees versus the three that you budgeted for. So um, those, those are the numbers that I have. Unless, unless there's something else here that's, uh, you know, if you want to count the time that's spent on, with the, the attorney and everything else, um, that certainly is legit. However, that was not the position that the city had to be put in. It was a decision made by a previous council. So um, I, I'm not quite sure when you say you have to borrow money from uh, from other accounts or whatever, you have to be conscious. You are saving money when you budget it for three positions and you're currently only filling 2.x percent of those positions. Right, so if we only do the $3,400 now, we've already put in $2,600 into just negotiating this. So. Okay, so now you're down to $35,000 you're saving for the year. Actually, more than that because the salary, the previous salary was, uh, um, you know, or the previous thing was also for the full insurance and now the person's taking all the singles. So there's that savings there. Within three months you've covered the, the cost of what this the difference is in this particular proposal. To answer your question, you can do whatever you want. It just it does set a tone though. It certainly does make negotiations a little bit different. And that's that is your choice. But again, I, th I think I think you're you're asking you ask these employees to step forward, they did. They're asking you to step forward, and you and you and you decide to shuffle forward instead. I'm, my, in my personal views, I'm asking them to step forward for the betterment of the city, not for a dollar amount, because making our city better is, to me, there's a no cost there. It's not. It's not about the money. So you're saying you would go to work and not get paid? I just. Yeah, I would absolutely say that for the last three or four months, I took on more responsibilities at my place of employment because we were short staffed. And you got overtime. I didn't get any. I, I did my job and I did above and beyond. And you got overtime. I'm not union and I 
I chose not to become a salaried employee. You chose that. And either way, if I became a salaried employee and I took on like I did, because that's my responsibility. I mean, that's just that's just how I am. I didn't go back to my employer and say, I just did this, now you need to pay me this. I did what I needed to do to continue to keep my business running. And I would do the same thing if I was a city employee that was put in the situation. I mean, I'm not like everybody else, I guess. And, you know, we all agree or disagree on it. That's just my, my point on it, so. Okay. And if, or, I'm sorry. If, if we would have had a time box or a way to say, Wendy, you work from 7 to 4.30 is, is your normal, and 7 to 11 is your normal. If you were here till 8, then yeah, we could negotiate that. Say that you did, or even Sean did extra time, but we have no way of doing that. Because all along, you guys have fought us. You also didn't put in your motion in November that we needed to do that either. Your motion in November well, was you pay us for overtime. Right, but it's, then how do you account for it? That's why we said all along we need to have the accountability of having time clocks to say you have now left at seven, you have left at you know three. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, I know that, but well, I have to account. Yes, you have to have some trust. I have, whether I trust or not. There's three thousand other people that could say, do we have proof of this or don't we? So. I have is are we still in consensus with the one June date? I was turning the camera on to made the other, what was the other comment? Um, the other change was um, on the first page to strike serving on the personnel committee from 13-5. It's a sixth line in, in that paragraph. That would mean that for time off, personal time off, we would report to the entire council. So the uh, whole council knows that when Someone's not at the work. So uh, one of the things one said already. Yeah. So let well, me go back to is there consensus to remain with the one June date, Joan? I'm trying between the two because I see both sides. I understand that they have their work since January. They since agreed November. to groups. Well, yeah. I can't think of prior to November because my show started in January. So I get that 100%. I also get the fact that we are here to, to ensure that we are doing what's in the best interest of the city of Montrose and their taxpayers. So I also get the money saving commission that we moving into June. Do I think Wendy and Sean have stepped up? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think that's indisputable. Um, but again, you go back to, to the taxpayers and, and try and save money. There will be additional charge fees for getting a city clerk treasurer in here um, with hiring using an outside firm. So I think that that dollar figure needs to be factored in as far as total cost. Um, I don't so disagree with that at all, but I also don't think that Sean and I should be punished for that. I don't think I don't think you should see it as being punished for that.
anything else for the good of the city. Second. Second. I will die, Lloyd. All right. Joe. Aye. Joe. Aye. I want to hear it. 